Now, tonight, you need not confine it to yourself. Take a friend, without the friend's consent, without the friend's knowledge, and lift him up. Do you know of a friend who is unemployed? Well, then see him gainfully employed. And don't tell him that you may brag tomorrow. Don't boast. Just see him gainfully employed. Here is a friend of mine in L.A., and this man was unmercifully bawled out by his superiors and told that he was no earthly good and they are considering letting him go. They're going to fire him. Well, the man had no support outside of the job and he had a family, told my friend. Well, my friend lives by this law. So he said to him, all right, go your way. Didn't tell him what he's going to do. He sat quietly at his desk and heard the man tell him that they praised him beyond measure for something that he had done. It wasn't 48 hours that the complete reversal of their attitude towards this man in their praise of something he did in the advertising world. But the blow had left its mark. And he said to my friend, yes, they've reversed it, but I don't feel easy on the job. Because they could not have said the unlovely things that they said and forgotten them. So it will come back, and I'm going to quit. I have no money. I'm giving them two weeks' notice. I'm going to ask them to give me one week of the two that I may get myself together, maybe take off a few days, and just get my thoughts in order. Well, at the end of two weeks, he didn't have a job. My friend, when he told him what he was going to do, my friend knew he could not afford to quit and not work. So he saw him gainfully employed and earning 25% more than the present job. He took off the second week. When he came back at the end of the first week, he came into my friend's office and said, only yesterday I got the offer and I start Monday. I do not lose one day's salary and I start at 25% more than I received on the past job. What did it? My friend's imagination. A loving use of the imagination on behalf of a friend. Had he gone without that imaginal state, he would have walked into the place, the man would have said, we have nothing. Or we can't use you. Why are you quitting? He didn't ask anything. He simply wanted the man. So if you precede your visit by an imaginal act, they will see you as you see yourself. If you walk in knowing that you're no good, they're going to see you exactly that way. But if you're walking in the assumption that things are as you desire them to be, they're going to see you that way. And this is life. 